Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I just felt a little bit whimsical and um, I have been playing around with uh, my ABH Norvina palette and I kind of wanted to see how glowy I could go. And that's what today's video is about. So I'll tell you how I did it and let's get started. So as far as my primer today, um, I did go ahead and use a hard cut Hard Candy uh, Glow Serum Primer. And so this one does have a lot of glow, sparkle, and a very strong sweet smell when you first uh, put it on. And I also use the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil with SPF 50. So these are my primers today. And then as far as what I did for my foundation, I used the House Labs. Uh, this is their shade in Fair Cool, which is shade number 50, so that's what I have on there. Usual suspects that I have on, uh, NYX Thick It Stick It in Cool Ash Brown, and then the Sky High Mascara. Uh, this one is the one from Maybelline in Cosmic Black, and I also mixed it with the Essence uh, Volume Stylist, and this is the 18 Hour. So I have a combination of these two on today. And so as far as what I did was I went ahead and started out with the MAC uh, bronzer. This one in the one in Light Rosy Radiant. So that's what I have on there. As far as the blush today, I went ahead and used the LYS Grateful Blush. So that's what I have on as far as blush here. And then I got going with the glowy stuff. So... I started off with the flower. This is their uh, Rose Glow, and um, it's a pretty cool product. I've, I have the Peach Glow as well, and they're little pyramids, and you just take your brush and go round and round, and then put it on that way. So, um, yeah, you can, you know, go for just, if you just want to put your brush in different parts of the pan, you can get purple or rose or uh, champagne. But if you mix it all around, then you definitely get a rose glow, which is what I did. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Highlighter. Yes, I went a little crazy with the highlighter. Um, I started with ColourPop, their chiffon shade. And so I went ahead and put that on as highlighter. And then I did go ahead and add in some of the Catrice. And so this one is the Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter. So I did this on the high points, so right on the cheek. And then uh, right on the chin, right here, and right up the nose. So, or not up the nose, but, you know, on the top of the nose. <laughs> Never mind. So I used this one. And um, let's see. I did go ahead and use the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Concealer as well. And then as far as what I did for the lips today, I started with the Oma. Um, it's complicated. And so that's what I have on there. And um, so I went ahead and added in some of the NYX fat oil to go along with it. Oh, and we're not done yet. I put a little bit of the Catrice um, uh, highlighter right on the front of the lips. And then I went ahead and used the NYX uh, Cosmic Metals Lip Gloss on top of all of it. So that's the way that the lip came out today. And I think it came out pretty kind of gorgeous. So I kind of like it. And uh, let's see, as far as what else I did, um, under the eyes and in the T-zone, I went ahead and used the Glowish Powder in Fair One and uh, went ahead and used it with the powder puff and uh, yeah uh, you probably can't tell but it did go ahead and brighten my eyes a lot so that's what i did there <clears throat> and then getting into the eye look i did go for the abh uh, palette or norvina uh, pro palette number five yeah this is number five so 
Uh, these are the shadows, and they're a combination of purple and uh, pink and orange and all sorts of pretty colors. And I think what actually uh, was the, or why I'm doing the look in the first place is because of this glitter in here. And I just thought that it was so beautiful that I had to do a look with it. So I went ahead and put this in the outer corner, and again, uh, from the outer corner all the way up to the brow. I put this shade right under the brow. I did some of this in the crease, and then some of this blue shade in the crease as well, so I have purple and blue in there. Um, as far as what I did on the lid, I did this lighter purple, and this is a purple, yeah, based on blue. And then in the outer corner, I did this purple based on red. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I did the glitter shade all over it, so all over the lid. Oh, and I did a little of this color as well on the lid, uh, right in the very middle of the lid. And then I went ahead and used this purple as an eyeliner underneath. It's a really pretty palette if you ever want to pick it up and, um, yeah. If you want to do princess looks, this is my idea of a princess palette. So, um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Ow! Whoever said beauty was easy and not painful didn't know what they were talking about. So, uh, this is the way that the eye look turned out. And so that's the way that that one turned out. To make the whole face shiny, which it is, it's very shiny, I went ahead and used my Catrice Sungasm palette. And so this is what I went ahead and used as a finishing powder all over everywhere. I did use a little bit of the Rosé all day. And this is their Petal Glow. And so I did go ahead and use that like right under the chin. And then I took it down with a brush so that it's on my decolletage, I think is how you say it. But anyway, so everything's a little bit shiny and glowy down or over there, down there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, to finish it off, I use the fourth ray glisten up spray. And so this one has mica in it, and so it did give everything even more of a even more of a glow. So yeah, it's as I think this is probably about as glowy as I've ever managed to get everything. And so that's the way that the look turned out today. So if you're wanting to go ahead and uh, do a really glowy look. It is possible to do a hugely glowy look if you really set your mind to it. And um, yeah, I think it turned out very, very pretty. A little bit Tin Man-ish. Man I mean, definitely in person, you have a little bit more of the Tin Man kind of thing coming out at you. So um, yeah. Who knows? Maybe for Halloween, for a princess for Halloween, it would be a really fun, fun kind of look. Or, uh, yeah, for some sort of party or something. So, uh, I think this is as glowy as I've ever managed to get it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope your eyeballs are still working after this video. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.